The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie here, and I promise, we promise, it's a promise we put together on this, as soul brother and sister. What? Are we soul brother and sister? Oh, God, what did you do? I didn't do anything. You obviously did something. (laughs) Well, wait for this Green Day to get here, and we'll play the new Green Day the second we get it. And, uh, you know, sometimes things don't go exactly like you planned. I said it'd be here at 8. It's not here. So we'll get it Listen, like, you know. What do we do? Call Green Day? Well, I mean, I, like, I, 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 they didn't, I, put the, I think they didn't re- give us a song. They didn't give us a song. I think they're recording the song. I think they're recording it. Look, by no brains. Yeah. And uh, we'll have it for you. I promise we'll play it for you as soon as we get it. Um, we do have some other news relating to Green Day, of course. And this is out of control. So we always told you we did break the news about the Green Day Pumpkins rancid tour. There will be a stadium tour. And it will come to Chicago. As Kenzie, we were just talking about, Billy Corgan told us this months ago, said you just can't talk about it. And then we released that information last week. Now we have the exact information. Oh, boy. So, Green Day. It's the Saviors Tour. We always assumed when you say stadium that it was going to be Soldier Field. It right. Is, it's not Soldier Field. What? It is Wrigley Field. <gasps> now I'll actually go. <laughs> <laughs> Kenzie has PTSD about Soldier Field from the Taylor Swift show. I can't do the shaky stadium. It almost fell in on her, the whole stadium. I I can't do it. So uh, this will be uh, Green Day, the Smashing Pumpkins, Rancid, and the Linda Lindas at Wrigley Field, Tuesday, August 13th. Tuesday, August 13th, 2024, coming up here. And we've been looking forward to this. And I know Billy was, too. We we went up to uh, Madam Zuzu, who's the tea shop, when he told us this at the Tower Records pop-up Riot Fest week. He said, this is... This is really cool. He's really excited about it. And it's so cool because he gets like a little kid when he starts talking about things, how excited he is about wrestling and the tours yes. and everything like that. So uh, what a time in the 30th anniversary, you know, situation, this kind of year frame of Siamese Dream. So who knows what they're going to do at Wrigley Field. I'm just so happy it's at Wrigley. It's so much easier to get in and out of. There's more than one exit. Well, not to mention August and, Wrig- and Wrigley for the concert. Very fun. Very fun. Lots to do around it. Just to Hopefully hold- a playoff buzz. Oh. Right? God forbid. If they add that onto it, that might be too much See? excitement. See? So there you go. Uh, again, Wrigley Field, Tuesday, August 13th. Green Day, the Smashing Pumpkins, Rancid, one of my faves, and the Linda Lindas. Um, all fueled by Case's drink, Monster Energy. Uh, we'll be in there. You're fuel up on that before that show. I'll be chugging monsters like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> that sounded so ridiculous. That's how, that's how he's going to... I, I got to hydrate. What do, you, what do you want from me? Yeah, you got to hydrate. You to hydrate? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with the monster. That is like the opposite of hydration. <laughs> I, I like the original. I like the blue. I like the purple. I, I don't even drink coffee. I'll drink the, the monster Java that they've got. I'll drink the whole damn tube. You know that caffeine actually takes, ca- like, it dehydrates you. Not the way my body works. Okay, that's not true. No, I'm wired differently. I'm built different, as they oh, say. Oh, God. Why does everybody think they're built different? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Everyone thinks they're the lead in a movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got news for you, Kenzie. A level material right here. I am the lead. I'm the main character of this Green Day Smashing Pumpkin show. Oh, oh God. Okay. How many cliches are you dropping now? Uh, find me having a heart attack during Boulevard of Broken Dreams at the Green Day Smashing Pumpkin show on August 13th. As long as you get through chair, Brock, you'll be okay. Oh, amen, brother. <laughs> oh, God. Also, I didn't mention that the tickets will go on sale uh, November 10th, 10 a.m., and we'll have a lot going on with this show that we'll tell you. So it'll be uh, next week, those tickets going on sale November 10th, 10 a.m. All this information, by the way, always housed at Q101.com, all of our socials. Uh, it'll all be there for you, and what a time that's going to be. Can't wait for it. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Love, Joy. <laughs> The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. That's Lovejoy. Also appearing at Q101's Twisted Christmas. That'll be Wednesday, December 6th with White Reaper and Chicagoans Bridget Calls Me Baby. What do you call those guys? Bridget Calls Me Baby? No, Bridget Had a Baby because I was thinking of the song Brenda Has a Baby by Tupac. I was like, Bridget Had a Baby. They might play it. Who knows? That's a good cover. Yeah, they're wild. I I dig that band. What a unique sound they have. Nice to have Chicago bands on pretty much almost every night. We got Local H on Tuesday, December 5th. Uh, You've got Sincere Engineer on Thursday, December 7th with all of the uh, Black Keys and Bleachers and then Love Joy headlining Wednesday, December 6th. Uh, so remember, again, Ticket Puts Thursday continues at 9 with another chance to get to that Friday show, Young the Giant and the Gaslight Anthem and Little Image, and a pre-party we're all going to be at having a blast to get your first drink set up for that night for the finale night 
of Twisted Christmas. All the information and tickets at Q101.com for this epic show. And these shows are getting close to selling out, so you better get your ticket now. Win them today. If not, go buy them this weekend. That's the message from Brian and Kenzie. And, you know, Kenzie just had this situation going on with her baby shower coming up. You're you're at six months right now that we determined that? Six yeah, months 20, pregnant? 26 weeks pregnant, which technically breaks down to six months. So the math is a little off on the months because people say you're pregnant for nine months, but 40 weeks is actually technically how long you're pregnant for, and it's not exactly nine months. So... It's funky, I but remember, technically, yeah. do the doctor's description would be you're six months pregnant, 26 weeks. Yeah. Um, and actually getting pretty close to 27 now, so. It was weird. I remember when Megan was pregnant, I just saying weeks all the time. I couldn't figure out how many months everything was all the time. I'm not here to do math, and uh, just, it's hard to say like a no month. No math, and, I just have to tell you how long I've been pregnant. You don't yeah, have to add or anything. A month and a week, something like that. You know, it's just always weird. Yes. But, so, um... Been sending out the baby showers coming up in December, and we're working on invites. And pregnancy brain is definitely a real thing where you do get like cloudy. And I, I, there's no scientific reason behind it. They say that you get it, and they don't know. Like you get weird dreams, you get all this stuff. I just think it's a lot going on, like within your body, and then being like, oh, there's gonna be just a whole other person here always. Um, <laughs> there's so there's gonna be a person now with you the rest of your life. Like, that you just, can't... I'm just gonna know them forever. Yeah, so yeah. you're like dealing with that. Yeah. And then your normal life, and then there's like a lot of planning. So when you make a wedding registry, it's fun. You're like, I like these plates. I like these candle holders. When you make a baby registry, it's like research on research on research because I put this cute chair on there and then I read that this chair can mess up a baby's spine so you have to buy this chair and then I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't know that and everything's an article and it's like, well, you know, you you have to start off with some bottles but guess what? Maybe your baby won't like those bottles and they may need this bottle if they have this. It's like, okay, yeah. it's every single item you're looking at was an extensive amount of research of how even something simple, right? So, like, I had to look into, like, but how much of those do you need? Like, how, what's the standard amount? What's obscene? And I'm not going to use them. And you're watching videos. So, it's a, it's a lot of stuff. Well, all that stuff, like I said, yes. I remember Megan going through it, is everything you just said in, requires about four hours of video wormhole stuff with everything you were saying. And then you find another wormhole from that wormhole. Yes. And before you know it, all you're doing is looking at bottles, like you baby go, bottles you know what? for a day. I've uh, destroyed my child's life with my baby registry, yeah. and I'm so sorry. Yeah. I had no idea. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Meanwhile, our parents went to like, the Kmart and bought a bottle and just shoved it in the kid's mouth, and that's it. And everything worked out fine. Yep. So, <laughs> very stressful. <laughs> You're just, you're trying. Okay, so with that, you're, I'm planning the baby shower, and it's, you're just trying to knock it, you know, get these things done. I got knocked up pretty fast after the wedding, so I just got done planning hey. a wedding. Right. So it's like, okay, here we go again. And what I did is I bought the, um, the edit for our shower invites off Etsy, so you can download the design. And then take it to somebody to print, okay? Right. So you you edit it. So it comes completely filled out, and then you just replace it with your with your edit. So if it's like the baby shower honoring Emily and Walter, I just deleted, deleted, and wrote Kenzie and Roman. Nice. Right. So just you just edit your own for information. Like please join us on, and then I I deleted their date and edit it. Right. That's what you do. So ours is gonna start at eleven. Okay. okay. Seems, start seems at 11. right. 11 to 2 is going to be our baby shower. Right. So I go in and just delete the time and add ours. What I didn't think about is that on the baby shower, like, you know, invite that they sent us, they started at noon. So uh, it was PM. Okay. So I just put 11. Oh. And left it as 11 PM, yeah. as in almost effing midnight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I then. Printed all of those and showed oh, my crap. mom. I'm like, do you like my invites? And she goes, what time's your shower? And I'm like, it's at 11 right there. Look at that. It's right there. It's handy dandy. She goes, yeah. you want to do it at night? And I go, no, I want to do it at 11. It's, yeah. on, the, it's see, on there. See she my- goes, PM? Yeah. And I'm like, I go, no, no, why? <laughs> why would you say that? And so after I'd already printed all of our invites, I realized the wrong time was on there. Oh. Uh. And then... So 11 p.m. to come to a baby shower. Almost midnight. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like a rocking baby shower. It was very fun. Uh, (laughs) 
So that was upsetting. And I'm like, I have to reprint these. My husband thought, my husband Roman was like, you don't have to reprint these. Everyone's going to know you mean during the day. No one should. I go, even if 99% of people make that assumption, there's going to be some poor soul that shows up at midnight. Because how often people send you invites, you have conversations with them. How many texts do you get day off that is like, what time is it again? Yeah. Where's it going to be again? No one reads anything all the way through. No one retains anything. Yep. I go, oh my God. Like, you don't under, we, we have to, and it's so, it's so tacky to text the 85 people we invited and go, just so you know, it's actually at 11 a.m. It's Sorry. so ta- It's If we were having a dinner party with 12 people, yeah, I'd be like, hey, wrong time. But right. I'm like, this is so embarrassing that I can't even put the right time on here. And he was like, how could you make that mistake? Why would you write PM? And I, I wanted, um, to end his life. And yeah, that's fair. I did it. It's a very fair statement. I was like, you know what? You kind of proofread the invites. So you didn't say anything. And he goes, I just thought you were looking like, I just thought you wanted me to look at the invite. I go, I didn't need you to pro- like approve the design. <laughs> I don't care how you felt about the little polar bears in the corner. I was uh, asking you to proofread. Right. But I go, I understand this is this is my mistake, but the reason I made the mistake is because I was simply just replacing the details, and I didn't think about the fact that the invite had noon, so 12 p.m., and ours is at 11. Before you continue, 619 takes it in. Just change the P to an A with a pen. You can't. It's like On a every blue, invite. <laughs> it's a blue, shiny ink. It wasn't. I'd love me just put white out over the uh, P and just put the P on there. I promise you. And there's a background design behind it. Like, it looks like trees, because the theme is Baby, It's Cold Outside. It's in December. Yeah. So there's, like, a lot of trees and mountain. Like, trust me. Trust me, I tried. Yeah. I was so upset. So I reprinted all those, but my husband thought I was nuts. He was like, there's no reason to reprint these. Everyone's going to know. But what, honestly, don't you think somebody would show up at a at, at close to midnight? Honestly, I've never felt closer to you in the six months you've been in the show <laughs> with your OCD being just like mine. And I, w- I would have driven Megan insane by going, somebody's going to show up at 11 p.m., and it's going to be horrible. It'll probably be like the oldest person that's invited to, like yes. some eighty-year-old person that's invited, and then Ugh. and then they're gonna something's gonna happen to them. They're gonna slip and fall, and that that's where my brain would go because I'm I'm psychotic with OCD. So I agree with you, which is hard for me to say that you needed to redo them. And I, did you redo right. them? I did. Oh no! I had to reprint all of them, Good. which put us severely behind on when I wanted them sent out. So now they're getting people less than a month before the shower, which put us behind on money, which was a big bummer. And I'm, can I add one more thing that happened to me? Sure. Because this is the baby shower from hell. Hopefully this is cathartic for you and you feel better afterwards. I am so close to canceling this entire baby shower. I've had the most miserable baby shower experience ever. It hasn't even happened yet, by the way. I, no, I know. <laughs> well, that's that's what it's bad. First off, like 90% of people who said they were able to come are already saying like, oh no. And it's like, because I booked a venue based on the amount of people who had pre-told me they'd be able to make that date. Yep. So it's like, okay. By the way, Megan's really sorry she can't yeah, make Megan's it. Yeah, Megan's one of them. Megan and Harper is one of them, which added on, my wife's going to be out of town. And I, I met, she's so upset about it. And she can't change this other thing because it's an event with other people she it's has fine. to go to. No, she's upset. No, I get it. She's, she, she, I don't even care. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> No, she doesn't want to trigger anything. She just said she's sorry. She was also supposed to give Case's girlfriend Mackenzie a ride. So also, that probably means Mackenzie will Mackenzie's come. Mackenzie's out. She's gone. Well, this, this is news to me. I didn't know Megan wasn't coming. Now I have to break that news. Now I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> it's, you don't even understand. Kenzie, your baby shower sucks. Why do you do this? <laughs> Why do you so go to McDonald's happened, with everybody? Let's go guess to McDonald's. what else happened? Oh, no. So I have these little insert cards um, for the baby shower. Because you kind of put, like, your registry on an insert card. Mm-hmm. And then we have this, like... Oh, do books instead of cards insert? So I tied it all together with a bow. And I go to the post office. And they told me that the bow was so big that they have to send every single one as a package. (laughs) And it's going to be $4 per envelope. Oh, my God. $4. We have 85. $4 an envelope. And I just started crying in front of the guy. Like, you know that, like... (laughs) Yeah. And I go, because I go, sir, it is a card with a bow on it. It is not a package. And it fit in a normal envelope. Yeah. I go, there's no way. And then when you go to the post office, <laughs> they have this big cardboard thing oh. where they test out the mail to see if it'll fit in this tiny slit. And it fits. It fit in the thing. Yeah. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, I have to send these packages. And I go, but it fits. Mm-hmm. And he goes, but it's supposed to fall through without effort. And oh. I go, 
Could you just push it a little bit? <laughs> For the love of God. Now, can, can I, I, can I, cried. I, uh, I cried at the post office. There was a line behind me. Because I go, I don't know... I don't know what to do because it's not hand delivery option for me if everybody lived in Chicago, but I have family everywhere. I, Tennessee, Florida, Minnesota, New York. I'm like, yeah. so it's not like I'm like, you know what? I'm going to spend Saturday just dropping these off, right? Can't do that either. So I'm just like shaking. I have no idea what to do because I'm like, I actually physically can't afford, I can't afford to send them now. I didn't mean to do the math here in the middle. So are you telling me that the postage is now like $320? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's more than the invites the first time, not the second time. I'm, I have, I'm like, this is, uh, this is not going well. This See, is- I wanted to talk about this because, you know, Kenzie was stressed. The last hour of the show has been behind the curtain. She was just a little stressed about some things I've said to her during the, during the song case. You didn't see me. I was like, did I do something wrong? Because, you know, sometimes we're here trapped, you know, in this show. In close quarters. Six months. We go at it for four hours a morning, 20 hours a week. We go at each other all morning. You say this like you're training for a heavyweight fight. That's right. You know, do some push-ups here. But, I mean, that's what we do verbally. It's a heavyweight fight between all of us. What that mouth do. <laughs> See what I mean? And I said, Kenzie, let's talk about whatever you want to talk about right here. She wanted to talk about this. And that's what you guys just got. You guys, I just bawled my eyes out. And then, you want to know what else By happens? By the way, we got the Green Day coming. It's in. So we're going to play it in a second. It's going to be a positive Can end I to this. tell you what happened yes. also? Oh, Jesus. So, I go online to order the stamps because if you go to the post office, a lot of times they have really like like American flags. So you want like the wedding baby shower <laughs> stamps. I ordered these really cute blue blueberries. Yeah. And I'm like, well, these are adorable. And I'm having a boy, so that'll be fun. They were four cent stamps. Have you ever heard of such a thing? So you have to what? Then combine the other stamps to do the full postage? Just you had to buy right. four cent stamps so extra? So I had to put effing elves on this thing anyways. <laughs> so it's like seven elves, four blueberry. I go, oh my God. Oh my God. It was, and I go, can I just return these stamps, ma'am? She goes, no, we don't sell four cent stamps. I go, you do? Because I bought them from USPS.com. <laughs> she goes, we don't sell those in store. She goes, I've never seen a four cent stamp. I go, Good neither Lord. have I. I have found the unicorn of stamps. It is uh, it is the baby shower from hell. It's going to be okay. And I wanted to give you some positives on it. Do you feel better? You talked about it on the air? I don't know. You should feel better. Because here's the thing. So, unless people are texting in right now. And again, the world premiere Green Day is now in seconds. We do have it. So stay here. Um, Richie checked in. Honestly, Kenzie, this is the most tender moment I've ever heard on Q101 on the morning show. That's my takeaway today of you falling apart on the air over the invite. <laughs> I just like, I feel like I'm doing all of this alone. It's so difficult. Yeah. And, and, and I'm uh, not saying people don't have bigger hills to sure. climb up. I'm not saying that, but it's just been a super emotional, like, journey doing all this and you're coming up with this this you think you're ruining your child based off your mm. baby registry you're trying not to insult everyone you're trying to invite everyone everyone tells yep. you they're gonna come you pay for a venue based on the size people are going to and then most of them don't show up right and their invite cost 47 dollars to deliver and they're not gonna come <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, hard. Megan can't make it. I'm really sorry that she can't make it. And now I, w- I might tell her to. You've got to go. It's just because been really hard. Because Kenzie's at the edge here. Uh, hit, hit. And then every time you make a mistake, everyone's mad. At you. My husband's like, "Oh, how much did it take to mail those? How much?" And it's like, I didn't want this. Yeah. I wish I could get the camera footage of her in the post office crying at the counter with oh, like, te- with, so like good. with like 17 people behind you because. You know when you're there and you see that, you're like, well, what's going on here? Yeah, like, because you're already, at the post office, you're nosy anyways. You want to know what everybody's mailing. And then you see a woman cry? Yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a good afternoon. And, and you don't think it has anything to do with postage. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the twist, is yeah. that she's crying over stamps. Like she got cheated on or something. Yeah. No, she's crying over blueberry stamps and she can't return. I'm crying over $4 a letter, Brian. Each invitation is a package. Every, and they ring them up separately. Oh, God. Do you know how long that takes? Oh, Kenzie, everybody hates you in the post office. They're all wondering what's taking so long. I hate me. (laughs) The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.